Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Superman. This is episode 33, and today we have even more set photos from Cleveland. Now, these are definitely the most iconic photos we have seen so far, but we are also going to talk about my spoiler theory from last episode, which looks to be even more true with another set photo released. But first, we need to talk about something James Gunn has said regarding fear of spoiling the movie from these specific set photos. So, firstly, one person asked Gunn, any thoughts on the set leaks? And Gunn admitted that it was fully expected, which led another user to ask, so the movie hasn't been irrevocably spoiled because of the set leaks? And Gunn responded with, not even a little. I'd never shoot a big spoiler outside in the middle of the city, which is nice to know as all these set photos have been shared everywhere, and it would be such a shame if everyone knew exactly what was going to happen because of these photos. So this is reassuring to hear as it means we we can continue to look at these photos without worrying about spoiling the movie. So let's get into the new set images. We start with this incredible shot of Superman holding up some form of platform in the middle of Cleveland. Obviously, we have the too many, the side holding the structure, and they will be shaking it to help sell the struggle of Superman holding this up. But if we ignore those guys either side, this is a really iconic shot of Superman. I think this looks great. The cape flowing behind him with the shield on it, which I think is a great addition. I'm really glad they brought it back because it actually helps break up the cape as well. But this is such a classic shot of Superman and the suit looks great from this angle. And this is just from someone's phone. Imagine what it will look like through an IMAX camera. Now from this other photo, it appears that Superman will be saving a dog in this scene. And I've seen some fans get really happy and hyped for seeing this, and personally, I don't really understand why. Sure, it's cool that he's saving a dog, and I'm sure in the movie it will be a really nice scene, but I don't get the huge love for this right now. But now let's move on to the other iconic shots of Superman, which is of him flying. Well, at least getting ready to fly. We have three photos of Superman preparing to fly, and it gives us an insight into how he will take off. Now, I think this looks really good, and once again, I Iconic. You need Superman to look good when getting ready to fly, and whilst yes, the facial expression isn't the best, after some CGI work, I'm sure this will look great. But I'm glad that already from the set photos, this looks good. And I'm interested to see how the VFX will work with this Superman when he flies and when he fights. What I loved about Man of Steel was how fast Superman was, and when he was fighting or flying, we saw these shockwaves appear, which really helped sell the power and speed of the character. And I would absolutely absolutely love to see that as well with this Superman. The VFX teams are so creative that I'm sure they will be able to make it look different to how Cavill Superman looks when flying and fighting. But I do think that intensity and the way they sold the power and speed is a must. Specifically with a modern Superman. Without any visual exaggeration of power or strength, it could make this Superman feel weak and a little underwhelming. So when he is in this pose, I think it is very important for Superman to have that sudden burst of speed when taking off in an emergency with some form of visual exaggeration, whether that be a shockwave or the camera shakes or even wind blowing everyone's hair back. Just something like that is a must for me. But now let's move on to the spoiler section of the video. So if you don't want to know about the spoilers we talked about in the last episode, here is where you should depart the video. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you here again soon. But for those of you who are sticking around for the spoiler discussion, here we go. So, a very blurry, poor photo of Superman has been revealed, and people are commenting on the fact that the suit looks darker with no belt or trunks, leading people to wonder if this is Superman's second suit. Now, if you remember my theory from the last episode, then you would know that I think that the second suit is for the government Superman clone called Ultraman, and he will be wearing a darker suit. And maybe this photo here furthers my theory. It is distinctly darker and does show no sign of the trunks or belt. Now that could be because of the lighting and picture quality, but would it change the appearance that much? Gunn did say that no major spoilers would be revealed on the public sets, so maybe this isn't what we think at all. Or is this a classic comment from Gunn where he says one thing, but in reality it's just said to throw us off the scent? If he was to say, yeah, unfortunately some big spoilers got out, then that would damage a lot of the excitement for the movie. So he's not going to 
do that. He would try and do damage control, and I think that's what he is doing here. I really think Ultraman is the physical danger for Superman and will play into Lex Luthor running for president or even just getting more power than he already has right now, or just to get Superman out of the picture. Whatever his reasoning is for it, I do think that Ultraman was created by Lex Luthor for the government and will pretend to be Superman and the darker suit is for him. That's just my theory, and I've seen others agreeing with me or having variations of that theory, but let me know what you think in the comments below. But that is all for today's episode of The Road to Superman. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an episode. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!